Good evening. Sarah Merrill says that her daughter is adjusting to life at home once again after her frightening ordeal. She says that Keith Frerickson was talking to her daughter online extensively and told her to delete all traces of him before she disappeared. She feels lucky to have her back home alive. It's confusing being a 14-year-old girl, even without something like this happening to you. Sarah Merrill says her daughter is recovering physically and psychologically after living through a traumatic experience at the hands of 30-year-old Keith Frierkson. Yeah, she went out her window, her bedroom window. Merrill contacted Mount Vernon police after she realized she was gone on Saturday morning in early January. She had taken some clothes and belongings with her, and uh, I immediately started looking for her went to her friend's house. Uh, it was at that first friend's house where I first heard the concern that she may have been speaking to a man online. After three weeks of agonizing and waiting. As time, more and more time went on, I was worried we were gonna get a phone call and she wouldn't be in good health or even alive. Investigators tracked down the teen and the man accused of abusing her thousands of miles away, they say, near South Haven, Michigan, at this home. Clues found under a rideshare app the girl had used at some point led to Frierkson. Merrill says a car found in his driveway was also tracked on a trip to Washington and back. A lot of big hugs, big tears. Investigators in Van Buren County say Frierkson is accused of grooming her online using several apps. But they did move to other platforms to continue communication after Omegle shut down. Although Merrill monitored her social media usage and had limited her use at home and school, there were loopholes. He was instructing her to delete history and so she was deleting history. There wasn't a lot to go on. She also had put him in as an Alexa contact and was using her Alexa in her room, which I did not really fully understand until in hindsight. So she was able to add a contact on the Alexa without using my phone to do it. And then she had deleted and removed all of the contact through the Alexa as well. Merrill says her daughter has opened up about some things, but it's going to be a long road. But she is relieved to be home. She did miss her family and her friends. And she's just trying to sort this all out. Merrill says that detectives and CPS workers in Michigan were incredibly supportive and kind. She says that Ferguson is facing nearly 10 felony charges in Michigan, and he also was convicted of sexual offenses in the past in Florida. Reporting live in Seattle, Jennifer Dowling, Fox 13 News.